Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Diana and today I'm gonna finally show you my daily makeup routine because um, I am receiving a lot of messages about it on my Instagram. So now finally it will be revealed. <laughs> so let's begin. First of all, I wanted to say that I already did my skincare. I have a new skincare routine that involves a lot of Korean um, products. So if you want to see my morning skincare routine or my night, because they are a little bit uh, different, of course, uh, you can uh, leave a comment here or if not, you can uh, send me a message on my Instagram. Let's start. So first of all, I'm gonna use the a foundation from Rare Beauty in the shade of 160C. So, um, if you are following me on Instagram, you may know that. Ah, uh, wait! Don't forget to shake it very good. I wanted to say that if you are following me on Instagram, you probably know the fact that uh, I love the foundation from Lancome Ultra. Tint, uh, I don't know, I will link it in uh, bio because uh, I'm so bad at French and I don't want to ruin the name. <laughs> so I'm always uh, using that foundation, but I know if you are using the same product like for a very long time, the results won't be as good as they were. So that's why I am trying some new foundation at the moment. And I really like this one. Coverage is buildable. So if you want a full coverage, I think you are able to do it. And you can wear it for a long time because I usually leave my house in the morning at 9 or 10 a.m. And I'm coming back at night at 9 or 10 p.m if I'm going to the gym and uh, I have the makeup on, of course. And um, it is looking very, very good after the workout when you're sweaty and everything. So this is very important to me. I think the foundation is ready. Yeah, as you can see, I did just one layer and it covers like pretty much everything but if I'm going out I will add another layer if I'm going out to like at a club or something okay so concealer I'm using the Tarte tape I think you probably know it so this is the shade 16N it is very light because I am very white so <laughs> That's why. So I will put here, here on the forehead, a little bit on the nose, here, here, and I think this is it. So now blend, blend, blend. I'm always using this finger, so I think it will look a little bit to end you probably <laughs> saw that i'm not uh, using any makeup or sponges or uh, brushes honestly i like it with the hands because that way the foundation will be as warm as the hands will be so i don't know this is what's working for me so if you are using a makeup brush or something it's not a problem in the past, I was using the Real Techniques sponge, it was so good, but honestly I don't remember why I stopped using it, but I know that I like it. Maybe I will buy it again. Honestly, I was a little bit uh, surprised about the Real Beauty Foundation because, uh, as I told you, I really, really like it. And I wasn't having big hopes, honestly, for me. But uh, it surprised me. 
Another thing is that I know uh, in Romania, I know that you can't find this um, concealer at Sephora, but uh, you can find MAC, so you can buy the MAC um, uh, Pro Longwear Concealer because this is what I was using before moving to Milan and be able to buy this from Sephora. This MAC Pro Longwear, it is a very, very good concealer with a very good uh, coverage so you have to check it out okay for blush i'm using again the rare beauty blush in the shade happy uh, i couldn't find the one uh, in shade uh, hope because that one was very popular but because of it i couldn't find it so i think for this brush it is better to use a sponge but as i said i don't have one now so I'm using like this and please use a little bit of a product because it is very very long so make sure that you are using a little and if you want to add up just add so I'm smiling <laughs> I'll put it here like a little bit and I'm blending with another finger Wait, 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 wait. I swear, I think my uh, makeup video will be like one of those videos that you have to wait for the result and trust the process. But I swear, in the end, it will look good. <laughs> okay, so now it is coming together. You can see the difference between this side and this side. Okay, so now I still have some left. I will use it here. The first uh, day that I tried it, I put so much on and I was so so pink, it was very bad. I had to put concealer um, over the brush, you know. So, no, no, thank you. It wasn't a very good idea, but at least it fixed the problem, and now I know. I will put a little bit on the nose for a sun-kissed look okay now powder, powder. using the makeup revolution white baking powder it is a really good product honestly i like it a uh, very popular one, it is the um, banana powder, but I didn't find it, <laughs> so this is good, but I don't want to let it sit too much, honestly, because uh, it will be too powdery, so no, okay, so I'm putting it under the under eye area, on the forehead, on the nose, Mm, too much <laughs> on the chin and here and here and I'll put some of it here on the neck as well okay and now Okay, here on these smile lines, smiling lines, smile lines, you understand, <laughs> I'm not sure how they are called. I'm gonna do the eyebrows. I will brush them and after I will use a pencil from MAC in the shape Taupe. So I will uh, shake it, shake it, shake it. This is for the color. I swear it is perfect for me. Filling all the gaps. And now I'm using the brush again. Now I'm gonna draw some uh, hair. <laughs> it 
you can see the difference, right? This is the essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. Uh, I used from Essence the gel gel, so you can use that. Like honestly, I don't understand the hype in investing in the in eyebrows products. I had a lot of products from Anastasia Beverly Hills, for example, and it, they weren't like that amazing. So I don't understand the hype. Do the eyeliner. Honestly, I am a little bit of nervous because of it. If will uh, turn out bad, it will be not very good for this video <laughs> but hopefully i will do it good using the vamp uh, definition liner from pupa this one basically is brown but uh, you can see the difference so i am assuming that it's black okay so first i will draw a line a straight line And I will draw a wing. And now I will do another line that is leaving basically from the wing. Okay, okay, it's good, it's good. I'll put a little bit in the inner eye area a little line here not very long like this and now i will do a triangle a little bit more product Okay, I think it's good. So this is the first eye. All the eyes are done. The eyeliner is ready in the waterline. Like this. I know that some people uh, put it basically just uh, on the half like this but I want to do like a full uh, look so uh, this is the makeup routine that I'm doing it um, every day even if I'm going to school even if I'm going to gym even if I'm going out uh, sometimes I use color as well, but not every day. So if you want to see my smoky eyes routine, let me know. I will use mascara. I am using the Marc Jacobs mascara. Black, of course. Oh my god, I will add more. So layer, I will put another one. I'm trying, I have to clean there, of course. I'm trying to show you as close as I can. <laughs> okay, so something like this. Okay, good. The eyes are good after I will clean there, of course. But you understand the idea. And now we are gonna do the lips. So 
other lips it's a little bit more complicated because I'm using a lot of shades so uh, the first thing that I'm using is overline a little bit of course I was using the shade Cappuccino from Maybelline or Rimmel London uh, I'm not sure which one but uh, I think Maybelline but it was the shade Cappuccino it was the perfect shade ever but I can't find it anywhere anymore I'm so sad but if you'll find it buy it trust me like just for the contour you know because it's very dark Okay. I'm gonna use three zero four from Kiko Milano. This is my first lip banner from Kiko, but I actually like it very much. It is very creamy. I'm putting it all over. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to the first lip liner from NYX and do this again. Lipstick. This is in the shade uh, Burnt Spice. It is very nude, a little bit too nude for me, but I am just putting it um, in the middle a little bit like this. Now I'm gonna blend it with my finger. something like this and the last step this is a gloss for essence again another product that it's not uh, worth your money to invest in it's lip gloss I have the lip gloss from uh, Fenty gloss because the, the oil glosses they are sticky so and they are not too long lasting anyway This is the final look, I think. Don't forget, don't wear lipstick if it's windy outside. It's a very bad idea. I'm uh, now it's very sunny in Milan, so I can wear gloss. But um, normally, if it's um, very windy i will just uh, use a mac a lipstick from mac probably so yes okay this is my final look this is my daily makeup i really hope that you like it and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and like this video for me to keep it going and don't forget to follow me on instagram because i'm posting there every day and on tiktok so thank you for watching it really means a lot and i will see you next week